I don't know if you can see it. Armpit sweatshot. Cute. Hello, hi, hey, how's it going? If you don't know me already, my name is Maddie. Nice to meet you. Now we can be best friends or acquaintances or just those people who say hi to each other every once in a while. I think that's what an acquaintance is. But anyway, I digress. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I take bomb ass Instagram photos or aesthetically pleasing Instagram photos. So let's just get right into it. The two things that you're gonna need are you, yourself, and your iPhone. <music> gonna be styling some outfits and then picking a location in my house, picking a location outside, setting everything up. So I'll show you. So come on, we're gonna change and then I'll see you when I look more decent. Here is the outfit. I have some hoop earrings, a windbreaker, crop top, baggy pants, chain, the case Swisses with the long socks because I like this outfit and I haven't got to wear it anywhere so I'm gonna do it now. So this is the location and this is gonna be our setup. So I have my water bottle propping up my phone with some other stuff. This is the new location and I'll probably edit that out if I can or try to cover it up. So now is the fun part where you get to set up your self timer for 10 seconds because that's the maximum time it'll let me. I like to turn the flash on. I just find the photos show up more sharp. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up and try to find the perfect angle. So I am officially sweating, but that's just kind of how I use my environment to make like a little tripod. I just prop my phone on things. Now I'm going to show you how I would use the ring light and yeah, that's let's get started. I'm going to use the same outfit because I'm already sweating in it, so I might as well. This is my setup. Same location, same outfit. Now I'm just using the ring light. The nice thing about this is that it comes with this little remote. I have it on the timer still, so I have time to adjust but literally all I do is press the button and it starts the timer. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully I stop sweating soon. The next outfit, I got some pigtails going on. We have a light blue shirt that says San Francisco, some high-waisted shorts, and the K-Swisses with the long socks are here again, so yeah. Also, I'm going to be taking off my Fitbit because this is not fashionable, but let's go. So this next one is going to be a little different. I brought my mirror outside, and I wish there were clouds in the sky, but I might be able to edit some in there. We're going to do something kind of like this, I think. Maybe I might switch up my angles. I found another cute little location. I already set up my mirror and I already took some photos, some mirror photos. I forgot to record it, but you guys get the point. So I'm gonna set up my ring light tripod now. I'm not gonna turn the light on obviously, but I'm gonna set it up like right over there and sit on the ground and hopefully I don't get any grass stains. So yeah. Y'all, I am not kidding when I say I'm sweaty. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Armpit sweatshot. Cute. This is the third outfit. It's just a large t-shirt. You can tell I'm digging this combo. And a little chain, cause you know, I got that drip and taking off my Fitbit. Again, not fashionable. So yeah, I'm gonna try to scout out a location for this look. We'll see. 
I'll keep you updated. Okay, so we're gonna try out this location. I'm just gonna do some more mirror photos and see what that looks like. And then I might set up another little area. Okay, so to the people without a ring light or a tripod, this is what I'm doing. I'm using my water bottle again, and this is gonna be the location. This is my last outfit. I finally took off the K-Swisses, put on some sandals. My dog is crying when the door is open. Lily, you can literally just push the door open, but it's okay. Hi! Okay. Okay, another setup I'm doing. I just kind of set up a little corner in my room. Not the best, but it's good for this video. Setting up my ring light, and I'm also gonna be using one of these flowers as a prop, and yeah, I'll show you how they turn out. That's the process of doing a variety of different outfits and locations and using a mirror, not using a mirror, using a ring light, tripod, not using one. So I'm gonna edit one for you. I'm not gonna edit all of them because my editing process can just get very indecisive. So I'm gonna screen record it and I'll just put it on the screen. I'm gonna go through and pick a photo. Okay, I think I'm gonna edit one of the mirror ones because those look really cool. I'm gonna go with this one. The three apps that I use are Airbrush, PixArt, and Lightroom. I use Airbrush for things like getting rid of pimples, smoothing out my skin if needed, maybe like adjusting my bun. If my bun is lopsided, I'll like just make it look even. Never distort my body, never, you know, do anything super crazy. I just get rid of pimples and just make my skin smooth and my bun even. So there's something in my... <laughs> The next one that I use is PixArt, so I use that one for like my extra editing stuff. So one, like for example, I took this photo and turned it into this photo. So I'll use that for just like editing or like adding stickers or making the photo look vintage. Yeah, I just do that one for like fun little editing stuff. Lightroom I use for, you know, presets and filters and editing like the lighting and the colors. Um, I don't always use all three of these. I'll show you examples of all three. I'm gonna f choose the mirror photo that I did outside. I'm gonna start with airbrush and yeah i'll just show you how i do that i'm not updating my phone sorry stop i don't care i'm just gonna do this one. Oh my god why why okay maybe i won't do that one let's do this one so first things first i'm going to zoom in you see the mirror super dusty i'm gonna try to get rid of that so i'm just trying to like smooth out the little dots that are all over the place okay so we're gonna crop it now so we're gonna do, sure that works. So we're gonna do something like this. Uh, something else I'm gonna use, because my shoes are crusty, I am going to use the teeth whitener on my shoes. Don't wanna get your shoes clean? This is cheaper and it's quicker. And no one will ever know, except all of you know now. So see, you can see like some of the white got on the sky, so I'm gonna just clean that up. Like, ooh, <sighs> these are just fresh as hell. So I'm gonna scrub that all over the shoe. I'll do the sock too, why not? Okay, so you see the difference with the tools are. I'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit, take down the highlights a little bit. Stop! Oh God, I need to update some new software or something, apparently. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna just save the rest of the other app. So that's what that looks like right now. Head over to PixArt. So we have the photo, so I'm gonna add some stickers. So I'm going to attempt to add, oh, maybe I can add some pink clouds. That would be cool. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. Maybe a blue, no, the sky is blue, that's stupid. 
So let's start with white. So the cool thing about this is I can just put these anywhere. This one here, here, I'll reshape it so it looks a little different. This one right around here. So what we're gonna do is go through and erase the cloud that's on the flower. I don't know how easy this is gonna be. It does not look natural at all, so we're gonna restore some of it. Okay. So now we have the cloud. So next I'm just gonna save it. And lastly, we're gonna go to Lightroom. So we're gonna go to camera roll. We're gonna go to the clouds, profiles. So actually I'm gonna go to presets. I'm going to do soft mist because that's super aesthetic. I really like that one. And then on top of that, I'm going to go to profiles. There's a bunch of different filters on here. Um, ooh, I really like this. So I'm going to do this filter. And then I'm also going to edit the color a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit more my style. I don't have an Instagram theme, but I do always edit my photos a certain way. Just how I do it, I guess. Bow, bow. So this was before, this was after. We're gonna export this to the camera roll. Boom. This is our final product, and this was the original. I'm gonna go through these photos, do literally the exact same thing. Maybe not edit clouds and all of them, but like my camera cut me off, so I think that's a sign that I should stop. If you'd like to have, I'm tired. If you would like to see more videos like this or see like a fashion video of me creating outfits with my clothes that I own, maybe to give you some ideas, feel free to like this video, subscribe, comment, then follow me on Instagram if you wanna see how the other photos turned out. But yeah, this was a little different than what I'm trying to do on YouTube. I might as well show you guys how I get so attractive on Instagram, even though I look like a potato. I have a lot of Instagram content now, thanks to this video. Shout out YouTube. That is all. If you have any other video ideas for me, feel free to let me know. If not, that's cool too, and I'll see you next time. Bye.